And Kentaro, Kentaro, and Kate, <laughs> Kate, hey. and Kentaro, Kate, and Kentaro, the Kate, ice one, and the Kentaro, one. Kentaro, the one. Kentaro, and Kate, Kate, and Kentaro, Kate, and Kentaro, Kate, and Kentaro, Kentaro. Citizens of the Reject Nation, Whoa. it is time for Monarch Legacy of Kentaro. Hey! John, are you ready? I'm ready to watch the show. To get to <laughs> the Hollow Earth. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> Guys, leave a like on this video. Also, subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our reaction for, I think, the finale is up. Thank you to Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. I'm trying not to do my Johnny Depp, but I feel myself <laughs> descending into it. And uh, full length re full length we, reaction. We, we know Watch how to make the audience really happy. You want to sync up <laughs> with your own copy of Monarch are available at Patreon. I feel like he does a few words at a time. <laughs> this is cadence. And uh, we cover several things over there exclusively. We have some watchlogs included, right? No more no wasting time. Let's uh, let's unpack this hollow earth. Well, it's a uh, it's a beautiful day. Well, it's a beautiful day. Me and your uncle Lee. We'll see him when he gets back from his trip. Where is he going? Mm. Uncle Shaw. <laughs> it's classified. You know that it's top secret army explorer stuff, right? <laughs> Is it dangerous? Can't say. Well, we're doing it for the good of the world. You know, trying to keep everybody safe. From what? Because what we do is always a little dangerous. We well, you know all about that, right? Danger is your middle name. But I'll be back really soon. In fact, my lucky pocket knife. Hey. I know we said we were going to look into getting you one when you were older, so I'm not actually giving this to you, okay? <laughs> I want you to keep it safe for me, okay? Just until I'm back. Never open it. That's what he uses to shave his pencils. Really? Might have been. I mean, he had like a single blade. I bet he kept it. Damn, what a cool mobile home. Can't get over it. I know, man. Like a sea of mobile homes. <laughs> you did good, Swab. Should be proud. Shame she can't be here to see it. <laughs> She'd miss all this. Running around doing nine jobs at once. Yeah. Doing all of them better than any nine of us could do one. <laughs> it's okay. You both look great in those jackets, and that's enough for me. So this is post her dying, right? I guess. Or Sometimes she, these cutbacks to the timelines confuse away. the shit out of me. And this is a great tracking shot, this by the way. This is post her, yeah, being taken <laughs> by, the, by the roach things. You don't have to do this. There's plenty of qualified candidates. We can... Uh, I don't know. It's plenty of expendables. No, I'm not going to ask anybody to do something that I wouldn't do myself. I do it all the time. <laughs> Did you ever manage to get that Jeep at a third? <laughs> <laughs> oh, go to hell. <laughs> we are friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Monarchenheimer. Operation Hourglass is the culmination of nearly two decades of Project Monarch's work. Brandy Shaw. Human discovery, connaissance, oh. territory between us and them. That orange suit is the doctor. Explorers. A place that will redefine our understanding of the entire planet. I really like this historical fiction aspect. It's cool to have an inverse of a space launch. Hell of a cut. Aww. He's excited. This will explain how Shaw aged in a decelerating way. Aw, oh, man. Those boyish good looks. Kennedy can have outer space and all the big rocks floating in it. We're about to plant our flag. Interesting vessel. <laughs> in under space. <laughs> under space. We're going to plant our flag where no one can see it. The thing is, the 
tunnel is too unstable for us to enter. The only thing which makes it passable is exposition. Is a titan. Yes, I learned this from Godzilla versus Kong. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> we have Titan Lock. As we did on Bikini Atoll, we lure the Titan with a promise of a meal. Titan's coming for our bait, but Jesus, that's a big one. Yeah, maybe you guys should expand the perimeter a little bit. 4,000 feet, but the tunnel between here and there stabilizes as they move through. Ooh. So rather than unleash hell in Kansas, we cut bait. Here it goes. It's going home. And we sneak in behind them. Sneak in behind the dinner bell. This seems like a terrible plan. <laughs> Very dangerous. <sighs> Alright. And uh let's go all next week. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh. A surge. Oh, snap. This is some cool sci-fi horror right here. What frequency is this? Is it magnetized? Which titan is this going to be? Or is it just like the vortex pool of going into the hollow earth? Wowie. That's how you know dramatic shit's going down in the 50s when you hold your hat. <laughs> Are they all going to get sucked in? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe they're all those people down there from the Godzilla X Kong trailer. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Poor oh, guy. Snap, dude. <laughs> a front row seat in the back of the airstream. <laughs> it's like being on the Gravitron. Yeah. Gentlemen, <laughs> we have made history today. Yeah. <laughs> America. <laughs> I just love the aesthetics and the costumes more from the 50s, the props and stuff, the brightness of the day. You're dealing with so much unknown shit. You're just like, let's just go in there. I think we have the technology. I feel like it'd be like years in the making. To, <laughs> they do everything to, to before you decide to just go in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, uh, that's enough. You know, we 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 got at least maybe enough to get into the door. That, that's yeah. enough. <laughs> let's just go with that. It'd take them like years to figure out how to get to the moon. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to yeah. drop like a yeah. probe down there first? Yeah, or? you don't want to just like, hey, we got this. Quentin Tarantino, <laughs> wiggle your big toe. <laughs> Tokyo. We had to airlift you out of Kazakhstan. We had to drift here. Everything at the reactor plant, it, it, it went terribly wrong. History repeats itself. It does. Sure. He imploded the rifts and the whole thing collapsed down on itself. Oh. That's a good last time on. Oh, rest, Tim. And the locals showed up. You've done enough. I'm lucky I didn't end up in a Kazakh prison. I love you, Tim. <laughs> a lot of good people didn't make it out. Sure. Me? I'm sorry. The legacy of Tim's glasses. Yeah, man. They're always are surviving any destruction that comes his way. <laughs> they're made of secret. This is a hollow earth titanium. <laughs> so where do we start looking for them? They didn't make it. We finished Shaw's Lee murder. Shaw died doing what he loved. That's what you always think. He augmented a moment of global crisis for this organization that we have barely begun dealing with. Burn. Had he got your sister and friend killed, thank you for your help. But your time in a world has come to an end. You're written off the show. All these jokes about Kentaro, then he gives us a completely different type of performance. No, the best performance shit. he's given yet. There has to be something I can do. There is. Live. Oh. Legacy of Kentaro. Oh, Mom! All is lost. We are in the dark night of the soul, people. I can tell. I feel it. It's a good Kentaro scene. You did a good job. Hollow Earth. Oh. It's like the Spike Lee shot, but he's on the ground. 
Okay, so God, what is the scientist lady's name? She's got to be here. Yeah. She's got to be here. She's got to be Find here at Alive. Boo. Young and hot at Alive. I feel it. Oh, yeah. Unchanged by time. And Kentaro! And Kentaro! This looks like the lovely bones. Oh. Didn't you just do a, a reaction to that on the channel? I didn't. Oh, look out. This is wonderfully lit. Yeah. Love the pearlescence of it. Welcome a... to the inside of an acid tab. Is this hollow earth? I don't know. This Maybe feels... some in-between place. Yeah, this feels different. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Uh... We can't stay here. We gotta get out of this place. We gotta move fast. You gotta hold my hand and move exactly where I move, okay? okay. Now, I, come on. I completely buy her, like, overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> Deer in the headlights look right there. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, this is sweet. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Lightning underfoot. Oh, is that what was attacking in the 50s? 60s? Yeah, it must have been what was feeding back. Baby Mothra? Yep, it's definitely. We're in the quantum realm. Yes. <laughs> Time doesn't apply here. Rift closes. It leaves some kind of electrical charge or something. It affects your vision. It goes off like a lethal static shock. Static shock. How do you know that? Because I've been down here, May, on a recon mission. Oh. We're in it, May. In what? We're in their world, the Titans. So the... How did I get here? Oh. Cleared the space and then I hit the timer. She must have turned around and come back inside. Oh my god, she followed me back. Oh no, 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 Oh my god. So this is Hollow Earth. I guess so. May, she's down here somewhere. Yo, I know that. Is she alive? She's just a fried skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> Still smoking. <laughs> but with perfect hair. Uh -huh. You gotta do everything exactly as I say. And I can keep you safe. Do you understand? We are going to repopulate the human race here. <laughs> Starting anew. What's cool is that in when we went here in Godzilla vs. Kong, it was all like a big CGI landscape. I like how this feels all tangible and practical effects. Looks like they actually shot it somewhere. Or, or yeah. It could be a studio set, but it, it's it very still feels convincing. built. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't feel as much like a volume or something. And the inability of Project Monarch to ascertain the cause of the catastrophe. The Department of Defense has ordered no further funds be allocated to Project Monarch. God, every step forward is two steps back. A network of portals connecting to a hidden realm of monsters? <laughs> it sounds insane. In a word. <laughs> sounds like nice an Orson Welles broadcast. Bring one up, right? Show them what a real catastrophe looks like? And what then? Hope it's smaller than Godzilla. <laughs> As I talk about Godzilla, they are basked in green glow. Mm, symbolism? That you I think. can't let it go, Puck. I won't. I'm going rogue. Yeah, your boy's already lost a mother, now an uncle. Do not take his father away, too. Oh, but he does. Well, that's sound advice. And he rushes to Burger King. <laughs> I'm starved. <laughs> I my problems in grief away. Yeah. I would love if they actually made that a thread. <laughs> they just should. eating to cope. They should. Why not? Yeah. Is there a great way to connect it? Well, I'm not a science guy, so it's... Uh, I got time. Actually, you don't. What are you talking about? I told you. I've been here before, and I made it back. Oh, oh we're yeah. finally going to learn the true... Origin. So maybe time moves faster? Instead of slower? Could be. What's the dilation? How do you make it back? I'm just gonna skip over that shit? Just climb down. Okay. Dang it, this is actually feeling like sci fi horror this episode. It was good. It was good shit. What is your rank and serial number? Do you know where you are? What, up? How did you get what here? is Project Mona? What is Operation Arab? What flavor of Capri Sun is that? Give him time to answer questions. A nice plating. Isn't that Kentaro's mom? 
Yeah, I don't want to be racist, though, in case I'm well, wrong. All Japanese people are the same. I'm glad you said it first. <laughs> Someone needed to. Just say what everyone's thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the Krispies cookie. Are you doing so, a Japanese voice? <laughs> no, it was, a, were, it was a baby voice. Yeah, oh. I heard you were doing a Japanese girl voice. Like, what are you doing right now on camera, Joe? <laughs> That's my anime girl voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cold. Get me, Bill. That's how. That's how we Americans get shit done. That's how we Americans deal with the language barrier. We just say what we want louder. We mnemonic medical facility. You disappeared during Operation Hourglass in 1962. 20 years ago. He's having a Captain America moment here. Yeah. It's, it's his dad. A punch of Kentaro's dad. Uncle Lee. Yeah, it is. Whoa! Hiroshi. Pocket knife. Oh, nice stretch zoom. <laughs> what a great look on his face, too. Wow, cool. I like this one. This is a psychologically disorienting episode. Way <laughs> 1982. Not bad. That was cool. Shosan, you must have been a little bit of a little bit of a little bit only scare people in pain. Can do terrible things. Monarch got a lot of lonely, scared people in pain around. It's a poignant line. That's why he has two families. <laughs> you are the best character. You are. <laughs> he knows too much now. Why do I want his old job back? <laughs> now you're just like your dad. <laughs> you must push ahead. <laughs> Feel the pain, that's advice. how you get to acceptance. I don't need no wow. What the? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Contrast, G. That's called a choice. I don't know. But <laughs> Capital C. <laughs> sure. Drama when you call. Oh, okay. that's all right. right. Okay, you. So she's, all right, so it's a character choice. It's diegetic sound. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was just... <laughs> is this what we're going Just the with? mood of the sea. That could work. We bought this song. We should put it somewhere. Every time Shaw's imploded another rip point, we get more gamma rays all over the world, right? Yeah. Big, noisy, chaotic, and they're getting stronger. Barnes. <laughs> Not the first one. That signal remained constant. So I crushed it down so that I could see oh. all of it. Oh. Look. Oh. When you zoom out, there's a pattern. Where, where is it coming from? There's a rhythm. They're in time. Somebody's sending us a message. It's Morse code. Wait, someone's sending a message. So Shaw's sending a message from beyond? I mean, in the from the realm? Yeah, or maybe it's Kate. Maybe she knows how to harness the gamma ray. Because she's a random. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> randoms are special. <laughs> Why is Monarch treating me like I'm a prisoner? No one's entirely sure if you are safe. No <laughs> contagious or radioactive. Or a Russian plant. <laughs> they just want to know what happened to you and how. Your survival, your age, defies logic. And beyond logic. Beyond science. Beyond reason. If I tell you the truth, you're just going to think I'm crazy. If you keep it to yourself, it was all for nothing. <laughs> Pulse rising. <laughs> really like to play with time in this episode. Whoa, nice. That is a very cool POV. Whoa. Ooh. Oh my god, this should have been the show way earlier. I know. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I feel like we're actually exploring and doing shit now. Yeah. <laughs> this whole episode. Hey, man. 
Nine episodes feels about right. <laughs> Finally get to some intrigue. <laughs> so we began playing DBA. So I walk. <laughs> attempting to contact me. I'm gonna give out Zach Moore's phone out. And then something happened. Oh. oh. We encountered a massive Whoa. unknown terrestrial organism. <laughs> It's like some Zack Snyder shit. Yeah. All we need is like a throat singer soundtrack. Oh, this is scary. Next thing I remember. Ooh. Straight up a horror episode. This feels like he's back on Black Mirror. <laughs> I was here. I was in the village. Inside it, there's a shrine. They said it's the boundary between the walls of the living and the dead. We found the rift in there. Mythography. So he was only there for like a little bit? Yeah, I guess so. Monarch is moving you to a secure facility for observation and study. Oh. Retirement home. I think you'll be comfortable there. Oh, so he was, he was there for decades. Yeah, and they've just been monitoring and probing him. 300,000 years. From the cradle of a civilization to the moon, we lived with the Titans until you were three. Yeah. Some beasts are best left undisturbed. I'm sorry. Oh. But you need that for your pencils. This is your legacy. This is your family business. I buried that family in three empty boxes. The yeah. madness that devoured my childhood was oh. wasn't madness. It was fact. Then it was a choice. Maybe that makes it worse. And what's his job? You know, liaison. He's just a doctor. <laughs> He's yeah, just here He's to here. talk with people. <laughs> yeah. He what, just kind of knows what Monarch's been doing. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's always like, you've just been around all this time. I guess you work here. <laughs> Pregnant macaque has another reason to visit the onsen. Pain relief. Ooh. A long Speaking of pain relief. Hell for every ill. Dude. Nurse Monarch. It looks like a retirement home. They straight up slapped him into a retirement home. Oh, nice. Oh. No more pills for me. Oh the my truth. God. Yeah. Well, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> yep. Nice. <laughs> It's a good idea to just scream in this place. <laughs> you will not attract any unwanted attention. Nope. He ain't gonna become nobody's snack. I mean, obviously, Dr. Randa eventually found it. Oh my god! Oh, daddy! Oh, <laughs> ですぐに思ってきたばっかりなんだ。お前とお母さんには電話する時間がなかった。俺らが砂漠から脱出できたか確認するように。ここで何してた?まあ帰るとか。親父は仕事の続きだ。砂漠で異変が起こって、その。It
<laughs> oh, all the jokes about guitars. <laughs> Killing it this I episode. know. I'm happy for him. I do show it. the, the flip up. Yeah. It's here, man. Jesus Christ. Great scenes with dad. Great oh, scenes with mom. Whole episode. <laughs> Killing it. I'm happy for him. I'm here for it. <laughs> oh. That's not a friendly. But I feel like a friend going to save. Whoa, what is that? That's like some Jim Henson shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if a warg was a boar. Aw. It's my own business. That's so cool with the tree. I know. Trunks so fantastical. And so elemental. <laughs> Change my goddamn mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing this to be dramatic. <laughs> Hey, you look different from everyone here. What's your name? <laughs> oh, oh, boom. An arrow? Yeah. It's Hawkeye. It's the grandma. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey. I called it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. Well, I tell you. Damn, I didn't want that episode to end for once. That was surprisingly. <laughs> this, is, this might be the best wow. no, that's since Legacy like of Tim. It's, oh, it's easily the best since yeah. Legacy of Tim. It's, yeah. It's a real close one. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to beat Legacy of Tim. But this was, yeah, quality ass episode. Close. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a> close. <laughs> it takes a lot to eclipse the beauty of Tim of and Tim, his yeah. presence overall. Like a Tim episode automatically shoots you to the top. But with everything else, Firing on all cylinders and no Tim. This is the best it could possibly be. <laughs> Not bad. I'm happy. Oh wow! It just took forever to get to. I'm all for build up, but I feel like we could have gotten here in a couple episodes. <laughs> Yeah, you're like episode four or something, or, man. Or, or hinted at some of this <laughs> earlier. Five, yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to do is complain about this show. After getting a great ass episode, all I'm going to do is complain about how Why wasn't it. the greatness here sooner? Yeah. 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 I'm just going to yell at the show for not just getting to the point faster. <laughs> Even yeah. greatness is negative on this show. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that was excellent. Yeah. That, that was, that was uh, extremely gripping from beginning to end. That was extremely gripping. Yeah. Um, for starters, Kentaro, man. Uh, we make a lot of jokes about his one note performance, and boy, did he give variations. At first, I was like, "All right, okay." He gave a crying. Say, okay, he cried. <laughs> good, good yeah, job. Yeah, that's good, good. And then it's just like he kept going throughout the episode. I was like, "Oh my god, he's like still he's doing variations. It's not just repetitive." And I believe the trauma that he's currently experiencing. Yeah, yeah. No, there's a variety here. A lot of anguish, and um. I don't know. Now I'm beginning to wonder: is it is it just is he? I don't know who the actor is. Is he like uh, actually from Japan? Is he Japanese? And is, uh, it, is it like just the handling of the? I mean, maybe we're alone in the opinion here. Sure. I think it's just like it just kind of seems a little monotone and and uh, one note when he's. But I noticed like most of this episode he was speaking primary. But then again, that first scene was in English. Yeah. So I, maybe it is just the uh, maybe it's the actual scenes they gave him to work with and being directed here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, his accent when he speaks English suggests to me that he's been speaking it for all of his life, probably. Like, it, it sounds to me just off face value from watching the show like he's probably an American actor who speaks Japanese, you know. But but maybe yeah. like I, I don't feel as much Doesn't like, matter. oh, this is a guy who's probably got a whole other career in Japan who is being brought over here. Doesn't matter. Yeah. He's excellent. He was excellent. Either way, he was excellent. This Kudos. Yeah. To All the one. flavors, all the shades, the scenes with Hiroshi and him at the end. I thought that was like that was the kind of again, it's it, you, the kind of drama you want from the show. Exactly. Man. I was like, God damn, I'm. I'm not going to cry, but I feel it. But I feel it, <laughs> I and, feel it, it. And, it and it ties in well to everything we've seen of the past. We understand exactly how and why Hiroshi and Kentaro would be the way that they are and respond to all this the way that they do. And and yeah, you, you see what's easy to fix about their situation, but also you understand intimately like the weird messed up 
you know, role models and, and family lives, they all have to go on <laughs> you yeah. know, to form all this. And yeah, just it felt tangible. And how trauma begets trauma and not dealing with it. Yeah. Even seeing Hurt with scared people, you know. Yeah, the lie that the, uh, that the mom has. Yeah. <sighs> um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was quite poignant. But um, so that and then, you know, just getting to this aspect of what I'm assuming is hollow earth, mm. uh, just another element to it or another section. Yeah, and it's it's like it's the it's waiting like, room of like Hollow Earth. No, it's like the world. Like you're in different parts of countries and continents. Yeah, and so different, there's a different geography side. and yeah. different <laughs> uh, yeah environment and different foliage and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, going to that side of it, and um, I, I think like the way that's captured is really mysterious and neat. It doesn't feel it feels it still feels big, but again, like how we said during the. By the way, if you're listening to Apple and Spotify, we just watched Potter and uh, read hey. this video. Uh, yeah, we we uh, we really like this one. And when we went to the Hollow Earth, I liked how it separated itself from what we've seen from Godzilla versus Kong. Nor does it feel like it's it's compl- it still feels like it's connected. It doesn't feel like a completely separate entity. You know, like I love the the lighting, the different shades of the colors, and then even from going to where Kate is to where Shaw and Kiersey Clemens are, you you get a, a sense of like the the variations and also getting a little bit of the creatures. Like I actually like that horned creature, that yeah. have, the one that was like made out of bark and tree and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that was really, all over it. Yeah, that was really cool. It felt very, it felt very mystical and uh, different. Yeah, and it feels like primordial, but of the earth. It still feels all prehistoric. You know? yeah, 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 and it feels like akin to various. things things that you would see on the surface but yeah circa the fantastical nature of you know kaiju and, and yeah everything that we've seen of the hollow earth thus far but more importantly man like it was just a it, it knew its tone this time yeah. it really knew its tone and i know there's a lot of people who have been really loving the show and for us it's been a real up and down journey yes. from fine to yeah. this is really good to bored <laughs> to, to what's going on to yeah like, bewildered. come on just get it going yeah to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's it's been a, a and i and i know there's a lot of people who feel the same way we do too and um all we can do is express our honest opinion here. But to me, I'm like, oh, this is more of the show that I, I, I never saw a trailer for this show, so I didn't know what to yeah. walk into. Uh, but seeing what they had on their hands of what to play with, this is exactly like the marriage between past and present, uh, 50s to present world um, mystery solving that I'm like, yeah, this is the marriage I've been looking for. Yeah, uh, it has that Twilight Zone quality or that... Um Oh uh, God! There's some. There's a better touchstone, but yeah, it has that quality of like something is off and strange and and mind bending and foreboding about all these things happening. It's like it's got a Cloverfield esque. I feel like you say what you will about the various installments, but Cloverfield always has that thing of like there's a lurking, ominous presence, or even Lost has that where yeah, there's just. You want to feel in a show like this, like there's mystery lurking around every corner and like someone's always watching. And this episode had that where it's like you they use POV very nicely. And I think they handled the stuff, even though like at times when they jump around in the past, it can be a little bit of a moment to recalibrate your brain and go like, OK, wait, where are we in the linear timeline? But. Yeah, when they show them disappear into the earth and this lightning storm happens and then we don't really see him until he gets back and there's all that stuff to wonder about. I thought they actually brought back the like PTSD flash motif in a way that worked again yeah. in a sense of you're getting these intense brief images of what happened when he was sent down there during his first encounter with this so it would be more fragmented and, and overwhelming in your mind. And yeah, when they bring him back and you're not even quite sure what year it is, but Hero is, is has aged beyond, you know, Shaw now. Like all that stuff was like a was the right kind of disconcerting. And yeah, you have all these people in these hazmat suits and stuff, and it's it had all the aesthetic, cool sci-fi stuff that you want out of that. And it actually managed to grab and sell the tone, and it had drama or you know character beats. Again, like this is mostly a plot oriented episode, but the character beats they chose made impact and they felt proportionate and they felt like at least for this episode appropriate to complement everything else that's going on. Well, there's suspense and fear and dread underneath the plot lines being delivered. Yeah. 
So they, even though, but they, you know, they just have some straight up character scenes. You know, the, the scene yeah. between Kataro and his mom, and, and the living room was just about grief. Yeah. Every scene with a mom is just about emotions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but how people are, you know, uh, and it, she's so natural, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the strain relationship side of like when Shaw and Doctor, what is uh, Hiroshi? Uh, when when uh, Lee Shaw and Hiroshi meet up with each other and talk, like I felt the the distance in the tent. Like I thought it was, it was placed nicely where you in the beginning you, you establish the relationship between Uncle and him. Mm-hmm. And you really get a sense of like the little boy and his uncle who he loves. And then it cut to years later and, and how fragmented and how um, fragile this whole thing is. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was excellently illustrated and just the the fear of like when he's like grabbing him, like this is your legacy. I'm like, oh my God, this whole, all this shit about this is your legacy, Kitty Guitar. This is a, like, it always felt a little bit cheesy and a little forced. Yeah. And, and then here I'm like, no, no, no I, I get it now. <laughs> yeah. Here it makes made, sense. Yeah. Completely made sense. Uh, especially because it all starts here and, and it's like this big gap of where everything's changed for Shaw. Yeah. And, well, and when yeah. you see Hiroshi, you at first think like, you know, he's with Monarch, so clearly he must have arisen the ranks. But I thought that, yeah, you could, I thought they really nicely drew. When he's talking about, like, you know, the family, I buried them in three empty boxes. Everyone told me they'd come back, and they didn't. And, yeah. like, and that's a human thing. Like, it's cool, because it's a human thing of, like, these people were clearly more married to their work than married to looking after you, you know. And there's been that sort of detach with Randa, in, or with Bill, uh, you know, where it's like, do you even really care about having a family, dude? But, like, you know, with Kay and with Shaw, they seem very kind of more intent on the kid. And I felt the weight of that here where it's like, yeah, you would feel abandoned. And even though it's like Monarch probably is this thing for you where it's like the only way to get any answers about why your life is what it is. But at the same time, I can totally imagine you not being happy to be here and this being kind of a traumatic thing to do that you just feel like you just have to do because it's, yeah, it is... It is your legacy, but I felt the harsh side of that from just the body language and the performance from the actor who plays Hiroshi, especially. Um, and and yeah, like it again. It was a nice intermingling of sci-fi cool shit, but also you know actual drama that's appropriate for again the universe that we're in. Yeah, it was shot really cool too. I think I felt like yeah. every single shot felt composed based off of the emotion of the scene. Yeah, and the POV and and how to accentuate yeah. you know the 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 chaos and the you know discovery of it all. They did drag out the reveal of what how Shaw came. I mean, he kind of pieced it together. He went to Hollow Earth and then he came back. Yeah, and that's how he. Decelerated his, <laughs> but yeah. like they kept filling a mystery. Then it solves it. In, then they explain it in like fifteen minutes. <laughs> it's, yeah, the more the more really interesting. Really dragged out to get to this answer. I, sure. I get for narrative placement to get to the point to to reveal it, but I I do feel that as a whole, if this show does get picked up for a season two, you can do some less beating around the bush. Yeah, yeah of course. There 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 has been some beating around the bush where it's like it's pretty obvious from. Even for those who really like the show, uh, I just like going through at least like feedback and comments of what what really works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all across the board for everyone. Yeah, and like this was the perfect encapsulation of like, no, this is what the show ha- should have gotten could have gotten into a lot quicker because yeah. this actually feels like we are expanding on the world instead of just filling in some gaps. Like, yeah. like in terms of like where does it place in the monster verse yeah whilst being focused on characters that like the psychological intrigue and mystery built like and the mystery building and the world building of like hollow earth and i'm not just more like yeah like, oh that's how apex came to be uh you know or <laughs> or just like why is monarchs st- like I, I did th- it was funny and i i appreciated this episode but there was a, a, a quality with monarch as an organization where their their whole story is sort of like all right, we, we did this experiment. And the army is like, we got to cut your funding and no more of this. And then we're going to do one more experiment. And the army is like, nah, we got to cut yeah. the funding, man. No more of this. And it's always like, oh, you guys are still here. How'd that happen? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and it's sort of like the, the <laughs> most monarch. that a lot of the episodes have given you about Monarch is sort of like, well, I guess you're just good at sticking it out. But but yeah, it, it, it has felt like very small scale expansion and like curiosity expansion rather than this episode. Yeah, feeling like 
the that side of Monarch was actually kind of neat and intriguing to me here because it was complemented then by a bunch of rewarding answers and glimpses and intense moments and things that, yeah, feel like you're getting a broader picture rather than just like an interesting artist rendering of a piece of the map you've already seen. And, <laughs> it, and I think what's cool about what they've done with Monarch is we have essentially focused on its founders. Yeah. You know, um, oh my God, I'm blanking on her name. What is... Uh K, uh, I, I, it's like Kayako, I think, or something like that. I, I need to get her full name, but they call her K. Uh, yeah, her. <laughs> and, um, and and then of course, uh, Billy <laughs> Rands. Bill, Ra- Bill uh, Randa. Bill Randa. Jesus Christ! Yeah, Bill Randa. Funny, everyone's name. Bill Randa. How could you forget these classic <laughs> characters? Bill Randa and Lee Shaw, yeah. and and you watch how they were pushed out. And it's become some other weird secret military hub uh, thing of Black Ops. Yeah, yeah, weird side off the book agency. It's like Ray Kroc in the McDonald's. Yeah. Yep, that's what it is, man. <laughs> it's McMonarchs. all about real estate. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you, you, but you are watching just how uh, what what became of them and the tragedy that befell them. Yeah. Uh, like she's lost, and Lee Shaw has just been like, "We're sticking you in retirement." Like he experiments as this. This phenomenon, <laughs> he experiences an immaculate thing, and, and then he's like, "Oh, uh, we got to bury this. Just put him in a fucking yeah, retirement discard home. Discard this guy, put yeah. him in a box, and, and study him." But yeah, yeah, give him some <laughs> pill. And it's tragic. It's tragic. And I felt the weight and of that, like yeah. that transition from him just being like dejected and sunk, sunken into that chair, and then feeling a sense of hope with the monsters coming out. I'm but, not but, crazy. But it, so his plan, though, is to. Shut it down, right? Like that is his plan: is to con- conceal guess, yeah, it, shut it seal down, seal the barriers yeah. so that their world is their world. Oh, world it is. Ours. I was going to get all kinds of awoke, and once he sees Mama, oh yeah, Mama. oh everything will change. Yeah, and then he's going to be like, "I have to stay down here." So you have I'll so never- many grandkids. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, they got a whole other families to find down there. Kate's going to have, have like two daughter-in-laws. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got so many other families down here now. <laughs> yeah, he can take he can follow in Hiroshi's footsteps in the future past while never aging. And that's fun like that's a fun I guess just time just humans just prob seem like they don't age at all or you age so slow. I it guess w- there's I guess time doesn't I don't think time happens. Time yeah, just I don't think doesn't time occurs. seem to apply down there. Cause and I thought that was neat. It's like he's only gone for a, what seems like a very small amount of time from his perspective, and like twenty years go by. See, and that's what I mean by an expansion on the God, on the monsterverse world. Yeah, of explaining what Hollow Earth because like in in, in like Godzilla, like monsterverse is so separate from like Japanese Godzilla. Yeah, where it's oh, like very nuclear radiation and uh, atomic bomb shit. You know. Yeah, and and then here is like there's another world. There's a Hollow Earth. <laughs> Yeah. I like that the, the yeah. Japanese side of Godzilla has become very much like, let's take a uniquely like grounded view on what this could be and, and what commentary we can make. And the American side is like, let's make this as fantastical and spectacular yeah. Yeah. And, and mystery boxy as we can. Yeah. yeah so which are cool. They're two, two no, it's, good it's, flavors. It's great. So yeah. one doesn't just they don't just feel like they're completely aping it. Yeah, uh-huh. I, I like it. Yeah. Um, but the but but this expands on like the hollow earth side of things yeah, in a way that is truly interesting. And I want to go back to, and I want to see more of, and I feel like you could do a lot with. Yeah. 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 This was a great episode. This is genuine. never too late. This is genuinely a great episode. Yeah. I was invested in every character scene. Yeah. I was invested in the entire mystery. Yeah. The past and present storylines were both awesome to look at. The visuals were dynamite. Yeah. I felt the suspense. I felt the dread. I felt the unnervingness. Um, I, I thought it was the music was great. The mm-hmm. every frame was excellent. Um, yeah, this was like a truly great episode. Yeah. Only yeah. thing missing was Tim. Not so much Tim. And if lack of Tim. And if next <laughs> time we could get uh, an episode for Kate like we just had for Hiroshi. I mean, not Hiroshi, uh, Kentaro. Then that would be l- legit. I think we're going to get We probably grandma. will, yeah. The two of them explain together. Explain how she survived. Yeah. And then neither of them she have to age. She survived amongst the monsters. Yeah, she's Katniss Everdeen now. She's out here with, yeah, with that, a couple that arrows. That woman is, is the ultimate woman. She's the ultimate badass. Japanese 
scientist woman warrior to America get manages to get her kid over here. Yes. Shunned by a bunch of Caucasians in government, but still manages still to start, start like a crazy top secret agency. <laughs> top secret agency that's slung into hollow earth, manages to become a surviving <laughs> for, warrior <laughs> for however long it feels like. She's probably been down there what? for like two hours, yeah. but like in her time, but yeah, yeah, for 40 years for the rest of us, or however many, 50, 60 years. <laughs> the hell is she? Yeah. I'm excited to find out like like as much as that that does happen at the end and you're like okay like this this I could see this being yeah. cartoony I'm still excited because she is one of my favorite characters on the show and yeah I'm excited to see her second being. arrow showed up I was like come here yeah, it's time it's time, here. It's time. <laughs> yeah and, and it's good there's uh, uh, Lee and Cora are together separated and then the I know Cora's like I love Kate Kate for right. some reason I need to find her I love her <laughs> that one time we bonded I love her I love her so much yeah it was good we should put her in the thumbnail yes yes we should <laughs> Put everybody who only had like a minute's you, worth of screen time. You, you think, <laughs> think we can't go that spoiler? We can go even more spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no center image. There's just a description in text of what <laughs> happened in the most exciting moments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great design work. Great, uh, you know. Yeah, I love this. Flipping through time. I love this. Felt like what I've heard severances. <laughs> I haven't seen sure, sure. I haven't seen any severance. Me I'm like, this feels like what I hear Apple TV is like. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Little like bit this mind great, bending. compelling television. Yeah. A <laughs> little bit mind bending, some imagination, good production <laughs> values, quality acting, some decent writing as well. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Yeah. Because I've, I've just felt like it's so much of this has been not. Singing, but it's damn, not this, been as mind bending sword, as you would yeah. hope. Yeah, yeah this, this, was, this was great. This was a bit mind bending in a good way. That fucking time. Yeah, man. I mean, we got there eventually. <laughs> and hey, maybe the finale is going to be dino. I'm sorry, but guys, nothing can beat Tim. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's a reason Legacy of Tim will always be sorry, like, the top this, episode. This is definitely a better episode by a lot. Like, <laughs> This is for sure a better episode. Yes. But uh, Tim is just is my favorite. But <laughs> Tim is my personal favorite. I want to give my favorite moment. In terms of character flavors, Tim is the character Tim's, you want. And, yeah. He has all the qualities that are the most enjoyable and appealing and the performance is in line with all that. So like the strength of just him solely. But yes, if we're talking everything else, yes. this is a better yeah. episode. <laughs> Nothing meets that Tim moment for me. Well, because I don't love anything as much as I love Tim, but like I didn't, I wasn't sad or or feeling slighted that we didn't spend any time with him in this episode. Yeah, no, I, I love the sci-fi horror of this. Yes, yeah, I like that. Of, we're bent. a monster show, but we can't really afford that. <laughs> so we're gonna cut the clips of that one movie, and we're gonna do a lot of wheels spinning your, in the meantime. Your sci-fi horror show, then. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, that's what you want yeah, yeah, from a show you're, like this. You're, you're, yeah, Black Mirror adjacent in your, yeah, genre bet. Be a genre. Be a fucking yeah. genre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be a genre. Be that's a genre. all we want. Instead of some weird, ambiguous thing, be a, be a genre. Yeah, if you're not going to commit to being a, a the drama that you've <laughs> tried to be, at least commit to being a genre or two. Yeah, <laughs> man, that was great. And maybe do all three, and that'll be great. Oh, yeah. I, I think they did it this time. I think they did. All right, guys. Well, what did you think about it? We got, oh, my God. Uh, oh, we got like Dude, a minute left on this. so much time to fill up on this car. No, we don't. All righty, guys. Oh, well, we're going to we're going to end this. And uh, thank you for being here. Leave your thoughts down below. Legacy of Kentaro continues. Kentaro! Peace.